for example let's say that here i am using this url right so this is the complete url i am trying to use it so this is a very big url and here also i am trying to use the same url okay so that means this is called as an origin or the host name so whatever the thing base url so whatever the thing so or so many names will be there whatever may be the names the thing is this is the main origin url here after this one the path name will be changed will be changed for every APS the path name will be changing but the base URL will be always the same only some 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 guys will have you having that API dot some example dot com like that you will be having now tomorrow for some reason I told you to change the URL so then every places wherever they are you are using here so right now we are using only in the two places tomorrow when we are doing a very big project so you'll be having so many places this this URL so if you want to change each and every place means this will be a tedious job for us <clears throat> for this reason what we can do is so we can go to this main.js okay here we can i can add axios dot so you will be having some multiple options defaults so i can give some default configuration to this one defaults dot so you'll be able to see some more options here base url you can create a base url here so what i will do here http lila.com something like this i am giving some example thing i will try to show you so when you attach this one base url if you give here now there is no need for me to give, give it here up to here okay just i can write only post.json and here also i can write just post.json up to here i am trying this one will be appended where is that main.js up to here you keep slash here also that's it now if you try to see the output let's see the output see the post has been completely gone away let's see what is the url it is trying to make a request I will try to do the refresh again. So we got an error and it is trying to make a request that http lila.com slash post.json. See, but this is not the URL. So here we need to have a we have a base URL that is nothing but up to here, right? This is the base URL we are having. So we can copy this one and we can paste it here. So we can paste it here. This is our base URL. Tomorrow, if you want to change the base URL, means one place you can change it everywhere, it will be reflected. So now if i try to change it so here see it's working without any problem so i can get this data i click on it so again it got added here so without any problem i'm able to get this one so this is how we can do it so this is nothing but appending the base url and another one is tomorrow so we will discuss about this one tomorrow for example all the apis will not be accepted okay all the apis so whoever are trying to make their request so all will not have a permission to make a request to the server so that's one thing so we need to provide we need to send some authentication authentication means uh, what i can say some identity to the server that yes i am the authorized person to access the data from your server please give me the data we need to say it so there are different ways we can uh, so that depends on the server configuration and all those things how the people will be doing so the, there are, there will be different ways we need to send a data so how they will be asking us to send the data like that we need to send it in that one of this <coughs> the most common way how we will be trying to send the data is through the headers okay they will be asking us to send the data through the headers they will be giving you something like uh, like this auth send send with the name auth and send the value some token some some token they will be asking you to like this so how we can send it like that is so for all the requests we need to send a data like that one so for that one what we can do is so here i can do axios dot defaults dot headers so you have an headers so i am trying to send an headers dot common i will try to tell you about this common thing so common the name is nothing but auth or authentication or anything whichever the name you want you can keep it is equal to some token so we have some token so i will be trying to send the token now whenever you are trying to make a request by this one so automatically so that authorized token will be sent in the request headers if you try to see here i'm able to see this one right previously we don't have this one so now we are trying to send the token so now the server will read all these request headers so what is the type of headers we are trying to send it so what is the type what is the browser so is the browser has a is this one is a valid browser or not so what is the url <coughs> and whether it is having an auth header or not it will try to check and the auth header if it has means the value which we are providing it is correct or not it will check then only it will allow you the access or otherwise it will not allow you the access so how we can send it is like this so now 
common means for all types of request whether it may be a get request a post request put request anything any request common means all type of request it will try to send you so for example let's say that i am giving a post request here so add post so i have this one is a post request and if you try to see then also you will be having this auth one this is a get request then also you will be having this auth one for example i want to send this one only to the post so then you can add it as a post or otherwise i want to send it only to the get so you can add it as a get for example here i have for get i want to send something like leela okay so for the post i want to send it as auth for get i want to send it as leela let's see how it will behave so here in the post.json so here you see leela with leela name it's sending why because for the get i am telling to send it as a leela so whatever the thing so different type of header i am trying to send it so i am trying to do a post request so here i am trying to send a post request this time where is this one so this time it is sending other header that is nothing but auth so this type of so like this you can arrange these all things so these are the different types of common settings you will be having which is very helpful when we are trying to do the token authentication these things will be very useful so and another one which i want to explain you is the interceptors okay so interceptors is also one of the important concept in the http request when we are trying to make an http request interceptors is one of the important concept whether it may be in the back end or the front end whereas in fhapi xml http request so these are all the things these type of options are not available okay so now if you want to interceptor what is an actually an interceptor is how can i say uh, 